Alright, so today I will be surviving 1,000 days in hardcore Minecraft. And in this video, I have one lengthy but pretty simple goal in mind. I want to create an entire beacon entirely out of netherite. In my last video, we were able to get 19 netherite blocks crafted already, which is about 11% of the total netherite we need. We've definitely got a long journey ahead of us, but I'm confident we can get it done, so stick to the end of the video to find out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, please be sure to the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications as it really helps the video out and helps YouTube to promote it more. And with that, let's just jump into it. Alright, so the first thing I did was gather an absolute ton of wood so I can make trapdoors because I really needed to improve my creeper farm to get even more gunpowder. So after getting all of that ready, I went up to my creeper farm and I simply expanded it. I'm not gonna go into too much detail because I already made this thing in my previous video and I'm nearly just making it bigger than it was. So if you're really curious, you can just go back and watch my other video. But after expanding that, it was nearly built to the height limit and we were pretty much done. Later in this video, I did improve improve it more and expand it more, but I got the majority of it done right now so that way we could get an absolute ton of gunpowder. So I AFK'd for around 10 minutes at this thing, and this is how much gunpowder we got. Again, it still needed to be optimized and further improved, which I did later in the video, but for now, it would do just fine. So after I got all of that gunpowder, I obviously need to get a ton of sand to make all of the TNT needed to blast the nether away to get all of my netherite, so I spent just a few minutes here gathering the necessary amounts of sand. Once I was done, I went back to my base, crafted a ton of TNT, and we didn't even have enough for one shulker box. But I didn't really care because I just wanted to, at the very least, get started. So I went to the nether, flew my way all the way over to my nether mineshaft where I was mining all of my ancient debris, and we were able to get started. As you can see, all of this right here is what we have already mined, and we are going to expand it. I got really, really annoyed of placing TNT over and over again. So actually, at the start here, I decided to use my Logitech keyboard to create a macro to move me backwards and automatically place this TNT for me. You might call that cheating to automatically place the TNT, but I mean, I already crafted the TNT. I just needed help spacing it out the appropriate amount of five blocks. So this just speeds up the process. I don't really care what you think about it. It saved me so much mental strain of having to do that just manually spacing it out properly. It was so amazing and it saved so much of my sanity throughout all of this. So yeah, I got all of that TNT placed. We lit it all up, and yeah, through these two rows, we weren't able to get much ancient debris, and the problem with this is, of course, lighting all of that TNT hurts pigmen, which means the pigmen then try to attack me, so I have to fly away to unrender them, and then fly back just so that I can mine the ancient debris. That is probably the most annoying thing about this entire process. I mined out all of that ancient debris, and I'm not entirely certain how much exactly I got from those two rows of TNT, because I forgot to open my inventory. But we basically just did it all over again using two more rows, exploding it all up. And as you can see, what I do is actually run up and down the rows, lighting each TNT block individually, because it is so much unbelievably faster than just trying to hope that TNT lights itself along the way. But anyway, I decided to use up the rest of the TNT I had, so I mined out every single row, and you can see part of the world is unrendering. That's just because of how far away I'm mining in each of these individual rows. It is absolutely insane. So I mined out all of those, placed out the rest of the TNT I had. As you can see in my inventory, I have all of the flint and steel that is necessary. Yeah, this is basically just what I did for every single row. I just ran up it, lit the TNT, and it's just that simple. And I decided not to mine the ancient debris right away, just so you guys can kind of see what it looks like. You can't see all of the ancient debris from here, obviously, because some of it's out of my render distance, some of it's blocked by the floor and the ceiling, stuff like that. But I went through and just started mining all of this ancient debris. Once it was all said and done, this is how much we got from half a shulker box, which I regret to inform you that this is very much abnormal. From a half shulker box, you usually do not get this much ancient debris. I do not have any idea how I got this much ancient debris. This is probably the luckiest I've gotten with ancient debris. My luck very much did not hold up for the rest of this video, and that is probably the highest ancient debris to TNT ratio I had throughout the majority of this video. I think I got luckier one time, but that was pretty much it. But anyway, we ran out of TNT, obviously, so I needed to get more gunpowder, get more more sand, all of that, so I improved the chests on my gunpowder grinder just so I could sit there AFK for longer, and then of course went through and just mined out an absolutely ridiculous 
amount of sand, and once that was all said and done, we went through and started crafting our TNT. Once that was all said and done, I got very nearly three shulker boxes full of TNT. And to put it in comparison, these three shulker boxes between going AFK and mining sand took me approximately six hours. After using up some of this TNT, I realized that this area that I was mining out really wasn't that great. We have sort of been enclosed in by basalt deltas, and I really exploded all I could do. So this is basically just what it looks like once we were done. And I began my journey of looking for a brand new place to start mining ancient debris. I figured the best thing to do was just to fly really far away in the top of the nether, and so that's exactly what I did. We flew really far away, we got ourselves a brand new area, and we had basically three full shulker boxes to use in our brand new area. Now again, as you can see, the process is literally exactly the same. We just mine out very long hundreds of blocks rows of netherrack, we then place all the TNT go through, light it. Very simple. Right here is probably about seven stacks of TNT that was used to explode all of this, and you can see a ton of the ancient debris that I have yet to still mine. And from all of that, we got just over a stack of ancient debris, which is the average that I would maintain for quite a while, around six to seven stacks of TNT for one stack of ancient debris. All of this is super, super tedious and super repetitive, so I'm just going to go ahead and skip over a lot of this. I'm going to use all three shulker boxes of TNT, and I am going to show you what it looks like after I am done using all three shulker boxes of TNT. So this is what everything looks like before, and this is what it looks like after. And everything you are seeing to my right is brand new, what I have exploded. You can see all of that ancient debris sitting out there. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn up my render distance just so we can see just how much I exploded. It's at least so much to render that I'm starting to lag like insane. And to better put it in comparison, I made a resource pack which turns all ancient debris pink so that way you can better see all of the ancient debris that I have in this area. I went ahead and didn't mine any of it as I was exploding all of this just so that way I get this footage for you guys. This is what three shulker boxes of TNT worth of exploding looks like. And this is how much ancient debris we got from all of that, which is absolutely horrible. We only got like 15 stacks of ancient debris, which is well below my average later in the video. This is just because I exploded so much air blocks with the TNT I had, because I wanted the area super open for the you nice know, cinematic footage. Um, As you can see right here, everything 100% is exploded. Again, it's something I further improved in the video and improved my average, but for now, I guess it was good enough. I had to spend yet again another several, several hours just sitting here AFK with my auto clicker at my gunpowder grinder to get even more gunpowder and an absolutely insane amount of time mining even more sand. I'm not going to bother showing you time lapses, me getting sand every single time because it's really repetitive and I'll just show you what it all looks like in the end. And after nearly two days of work, we were able to fill two and very nearly a third shulker box worth of TNT. I still had an absolute ton of gunpowder left over and I still needed more sand so after really quick going and getting that necessary sand we were able to fill a total of four shulker boxes worth of TNT. I completely forgot to record that footage of me crafting the fourth shulker box of TNT but yeah I had four full shulker boxes that I needed to use. And like I said, exploding so much air blocks, having all of this open was really inefficient, which I would later realize. I didn't realize it yet, and I was still going to be doing the same thing. As you can see, I need to mine out all of these rows and place TNT here. So it's a mistake, and we wasted a lot of this TNT, but I still wanted the nice, you know, cinematic look of having everything all open. So yeah, this is me mining out every individual row. Sorry for it looking horrible. There's nothing I can do about it. I literally go out of Redner distance and it just fails to load while I was doing all of that. That's how large those rows are. That was fun. And one quick little tidbit as I was mining one of the rows, this happened. There was some lava that got in my way. I got lit on fire. Then there was a glitched block in my way, which I could not pass. I couldn't realize why I was taking damage until I turned around and saw the piglin hitting me. Luckily, I had the totem of undying and I lived. The series very nearly over in that instant because of a glitched block. Thank you very much, Minecraft. But anyway, what I mined out there took me one full shulker box of TNT worth to explode it all out, and once I did, this is what it looks like. Yay, very fun, cool. This is all the ancient debris that I have yet to mine. Like I said, we were wasting TNT because of how much air blocks were basically being exploded with this method, but I didn't realize that yet. But anyway, yeah, I went through, mined all of that ancient debris, and we got nearly three stacks of ancient debris, and it was at this moment that I realized, oh my gosh, how horrible this method is. One shulker box 
for less than three stacks of ancient debris was probably the worst luck i had throughout this entire experience for example later in this video my average for one shulker box was around five stacks of ancient debris so i decided a new method and i found a spot to mine forward basically 1200 blocks and i was just going to light tnt in this entire 1200 block tunnel I had to get rid of a lot of lava along the way, but eventually I did do that. I also went 1,200 blocks on my right and just to the left of me. As you can see, there is some little air blocks in the tunnels to the right and left. Yeah, I went through all of that. It took actually not that much TNT to blow up a 1,200 block tunnel. It only took, if I remember correctly, like three to four stacks of TNT for the entire row. So yeah, a lot less than I was expecting. And it actually yielded way more ancient debris than my other method that I was using. Like I said, with this new method of just basically using individual tunnels rather than exploding out entire areas, we were able to now average one stack of ancient debris for every five stacks of TNT, which is so much better because before, like I said, we were averaging one stack of ancient debris with every six to seven stacks of TNT. And because of that, we got so much more ancient debris. As you can see right here, once we used all four stacks of TNT, we got nearly 18 stacks of ancient debris, which is much more than we got last time with our other stacks of TNT. Obviously, I still did use one shulker box full of TNT with the previous previous method I was using, but still, we got way more on average with this journey than we did last time. And just to show you what we've got so far, this is everything, and we are not even actually halfway with all of this ancient debris. We need to fill out this entire double chest as well as half another double chest with ancient debris just to actually get done with all of this. And what you are looking at right now is approximately 40 four percent of the ancient debris that we are going to need we've still got quite a ways to go yet again don't want to bore you too much the process is exactly the same we afk'd for a while to get a ton of gunpowder we mined out a ton of sand i used a beacon to give myself speed and haste to make it a little bit faster and then we crafted yet again another four full shulker box worth of TNT. And now we were gonna use all four of these using our brand new method, which is more efficient. And just to show you, this is basically what I was doing. At one end of our huge area that we exploded, we just dug tunnel after tunnel after tunnel and exploded each individual tunnel rather than completely exploding an entire area out. And this is just some of the tunnels that we did here. And as you see, we spaced them out way more than our previous tunnels did. Sure, we weren't exploding 100% of the area anymore, which means we were leaving some ancient debris behind. But since how there was less air blocks essentially being exploded with the TNT, our TNT was actually now being more efficient, which is really nice. So after using just under one full shulker box of TNT, this is how much ancient debris we got, which again is ridiculous. It's way above the average that that I was getting before, this new method was clearly, definitely 100% more efficient and 100% better. And just to give you guys a little update, this is what I look like a couple shulker box later. As you can see, here is each of the individual tunnels that I've exploded, but yet to mine any ancient debris from. Each tunnel ranges anywhere from 700 to 1500 blocks long. And once I did all of that, I just activated my resource pack to make it a lot easier to see all of the necessary ancient debris. And we just mined it all and went up and down and got everything necessary. I did end up wasting some of my TNT by exploding into this basalt delta. I wasn't really thinking because TNT isn't as efficient against basalt. I ended up wasting several stacks of TNT by essentially doing this in the basalt delta. But yeah, live and learn. And in the end, this is how much Asia debris we got using our new method. So this definitely gave us way more than before. And like I said, we definitely could have gotten more because I was still refining my process, getting better, getting more efficient. And I did, again, waste some of that TNT in the basalt delta. Anyway, we were able to fill up a full double check and now all we had to do was just fill up half of this other double chest and according to the math that i did using our new method we should only need around five or so more shulker box worth of tnt just to get the rest of the ancient debris that we needed now i already had the majority of the gunpowder i needed i had so much that i actually ended up storing at other places just because of how long i was sitting afk at times when i was bored just gathering gunpowder the primary thing i needed was just actually to go mine more sand that took probably about an hour worth of mining sand was good enough for three shoulder boxes so yeah that was a little bit tedious and as you can see after a while we were able to get ourselves five total shoulder boxes worth of dnt which should hopefully be nearly enough to actually get all the ancient debris that i needed but i was yet again running out of a space to mine all of my ancient debris so i had to go somewhere else 
So I flew thousands of blocks over to my actual wither grinder in the top of the nether. Just so that way I could get myself a brand new area to start mining for more ancient debris. Like I said, the method is now exactly the same. We have all of these individual tunnels that are hundreds or even thousands of blocks long. And actually just to show you guys something interesting enough, if you go down this individual tunnel, it actually will go far enough to take you back one of my tunnels that is in my original area that I was exploding for ancient debris. Literally, if you go down this tunnel and then you connect to another tunnel and then connect to another tunnel, that'll take you back to Y0. So yeah, that just goes to show just how insane all of this is and just how many tunnels we've exploded. It is literally too much to document, but I will do my very best to show you the majority of the tunnels that I exploded at the end of the video. And like I said, the process is exactly the same. We just mine up and down each row, have the appropriate spacing between each row, and that gives us the maximum amount of ancient debris possible. I did want to actually have some form of time lapse for you guys unfortunately however i paused the time lapse right here because i needed to go do something and i forgot to resume the recording right here at this moment is when i realized oh shoot i never resumed that recording and i already exploded all of the tnd so yeah um <laughs> that was fun but anyway it's yeah this is just a huge area that i exploded unfortunately it's below a crimson forest which means i had to deal with all of these hoglins which is really annoying was that was all said and done we got very nearly the exact amount of ancient debris that we needed now i needed to know exactly how much more i had left to go so i decided to smelt all the ancient debris that i had right now turn it into netherite blocks so that way i could figure out exactly how much more i needed to complete our project now all of this is so incredibly boring so i'm going to literally skip all of it we're just literally smelting ancient debris i did have to go mining for more coal and i did have to go afk at my piglin farm to get a ton of gold it took me a couple hours of being afk here but yeah literally just skipping all of that super boring stuff this is how many blocks of ancient debris that we were able to get i unfortunately didn't have enough gold so we still had a ton of scrap that needed left to be crafted but it enabled me to do the appropriate math which means i need five more netherite blocks which is equal to 180 ancient debris which means i need around 16 stacks of tnt to get the necessary amount of ancient debris and this is the last time that i was going to be getting sand in this video so i'm going to show you guys what my desert looks like once i was done and this is it i have absolutely stripped hundreds of blocks wide of this thing just bare down to the bone you can see all of that stone which indicates there's no more sand and over in these areas as well i mined all of this down to basically sandstone with minimal sand left to see all of this area i flattened out even all the way to over here has been flattened out to pretty much just sandstone it is absolutely ridiculous how much we have flattened this out and just mined sand from this entire area literally insane once i got all of that done i ended up getting more tnt than i needed i didn't really care i was just going to be lazy with this tnt and not even be as efficient as possible so that way i could be as fast as possible because i was super bored with this and i was ready to be done so i just went through ignited all of that tnt into just a couple of rows and then just simply started mining out all of the ancient debris and what you are watching is me mining out the very last ancient debris that i was ever going to need to get done in this video and as i was done there you go that is all of the ancient debris that we needed so again after afk and getting even more gold we had all of the gold necessary we had all of the netherite scrap necessary we we crafted it all together and we were several blocks of netherite short and I couldn't figure out why until I remembered oh yeah I had netherite scraps still in the furnaces which I had left to grab so yeah I went and grabbed all of that because I was freaking out for a second thinking I was gonna have to go back to the nether to get more scrap but no we had all that was necessary we turned it all into blocks and we ended up actually having a couple extra blocks of netherite left over and with that there is only one thing left to do and that's is actually put this thing together and as i'm doing that i do have one confession to make actually this isn't a 1000 day video in hardcore minecraft in reality this thing took me over 400 days so we put all of that together and no we are not crowning together a total of 1000 days in minecraft in reality it is much closer to 1300 days but 1300 days in hardcore minecraft isn't as clickbait and doesn't sound as nice and as clean as a thousand days so that's what i decided to put in the title the fact that over 400 days in minecraft and over a hundred hours of solid work can be comprised in one singular image right here this netherite 
took over a hundred hours. This singular image is over a hundred hours of work. That is insane! Oh my gosh! Everything about this video was horrible. It was the most tedious thing I have ever done, literally in my entire life. Not just in Minecraft, in my entire life. My brain was dead. I hated this. If you have ever thought about doing this, do not do this. It was not worth it. And just to show you how much I actually exploded in the nether, I went ahead and downloaded this world, put it on Invaderlands, the server that I manage, and I could actually go into spectator mode and show you this world properly. Here is what it looks like. Right here, we are basically at Y0. Going into spectator mode, if we fly over in this direction and we go down this one particular tunnel, we can fly all the way down this tunnel, which will take us to yet another tunnel. We fly all the way down that tunnel down to the end, and this will actually lead us into the back end of the other area that I exploded around in the middle of this video here, as you can see. This is the new area that I eventually found. Then we can fly all the way through this entire exploded area, all the way to the back, and that will take us to yet another tunnel. We fly all the way down that tunnel to the very end, and if we hang a right here and fly all the way down, this will actually take us to the third new area that I went and mined out. As you can see, this is actually the area that is right below the wither farm that I did basically at the end of the video, and there are other tunnels along through there. But yeah, to take you to the extreme, as far as away from 0, zero that I went, we basically, I'm just going to show you, we go down this tunnel, and we just connect ourselves to various other tunnels along the way. <laughs> Until finally it takes us to this area. This actually is the area that had all the hoglins where I tried to do the time lapse but ended up forgetting to record. So yeah, um, that is where we were. We were that far away from the spawn and if we turn on our coordinates here, you can see we are at X5100 Z-500. We are 5600 blocks away from spawn, which is absolutely insane that is how much we've exploded that is how much work we have done i can't even begin to do the math to estimate how many millions tens of millions of netherite blocks we've exploded absolutely ridiculous i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did hit that like button subscribe and i will see you in the next one